What's poppin' y'all? Today I'm back with another video and today I'm gonna be showing y'all a Art of War custom ARP that I won in a raffle. Look how beautiful this thing is. Before I started this video, I made sure that I emptied the bag and made sure that I didn't have anything in the chamber. And so like I said, this is an Art of War custom. It's a custom ARP. So this ARP is Cerakoted and it has a neon green and it has like black speckles in it. And then it's engraved in a couple of different spots. So I don't know if you can see that, but it says Art of War and it has their logo. And then right here, it has engraved Ghost Hunter. It has a seven and a half inch barrel and it has tack fire sights on there, which are pretty cheap sights. They're about 20 to 30 bucks, depending on where you get them from. For these sights, they're flip up, so I can just flip them up and push them back down. Also, it has the Magpul Gen 2 30 round mags. And I also have the 100 round magazine for it also, which I'll show you all that on the gun in a little bit. As a T37 grip, it has a storage compartment with a three round sleeve. Then I really like that about this grip because a lot of them, they have the storage compartment, but they don't actually have the sleeves where you can put the bullets. And then obviously the stock is painted the same exact color as the frame. And then now with it flipped over on the other side, if you check right here, I don't know if you can see it, but they engraved the full auto logo in there. And it also says Art of War right here. And it says Bay St. Louis because Art of War Customs is based in Bay St. Louis, Mississippi. And if you want any of their information, it's right here. So these ARPs go for about $900 or $950 ship. That's where they start at. It also has an aftermarket charge handle that I couldn't find. <laughs> I don't know what it's called. I've seen a bunch of them that look like it, but I couldn't find a particular brand that sells these, but you can find them all over the internet. So this is what it looks like with the 100 round magazine on there. I didn't take the bullets out the magazine because taking out 100 rounds and then putting them back in, that would have been a bit much. So I just, I'm not going to mess with it while it has that mag in there. There's nothing in the chamber. If y'all want me to do a review on this mag, I'm not going to say too much about it in this video because this is more based on the ARP itself. Y'all just drop it in the comments below. But this thing just looks wild with that in there. Is this something that y'all would buy? Like, is this a color that y'all would be interested in? Like, if you was at a store and they were selling one of these, would this be something that you would cop or drop? Drop it in the comments below, because I'm actually curious. I'm in love with this thing. And it's actually one of the best ARs that I've seen in person. And they did a really good job Cerakoting it. But I'm not gonna make this video too long because there's not too much to talk about. So, but with that being said, I'm gonna catch y'all in the next one.